Welcome back to Warsaw Fan TV. On this channel, I try to be positive, but with the start that we've made to this season, it's really uh, it's really difficult to pick yourself up. Uh, we've lost two 0 to Hartlepool. The root of the cause, centre halves. Too slow and pedestrian, particularly Ash Taylor. He's the experienced centre half to sort of bring it all together and uh, distribute the play from the back. But he's so, so slow. Painfully slow. Um, Manny Month, also very pedestrian. We had Roland in there today. He's quicker. So that's a little bit better. But Taylor is... Oh, he's too, he's just too slow. You'd think his experience would save him, but that doesn't seem to be saving him at all. Up front, last season, we ended the season with Josh Gordon and Kieran, Keelan Lavery. Two strikers at the football club is ridiculous for lack of cover. This season, we have one, a 21-year-old, unproven, Kieran Phillips. Now, I like Kieran Phillips. I think he's got a great future in the game. I do like him. He can't be the entire attacking threat for Warsaw Football Club. Connor Wilkinson is being asked to play as centre-forward. Why we gave him the number nine shirt when he's a winger who knows? Why have we not got any strikers in? It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous that we've not got... We've started the season with one 21-year-old striker. It is laughable. Lee Pomlet, our mate. Warsaw have put a lot of money into this budget. But it's no better than the end of last season. Never mind the start of last season when we had the likes of uh, Zach Jules and uh, Elijah Adebayo. This squad at the moment looks worse than last season's squad and we've spent a lot of money on it. How can that be? How can that be? <sighs> Rushworth is a very good keeper. He's young and uh, I saw the penalty against Hartlepool and he dived out the way of the ball which quite often happens on penalties not going to blame him at all he's been immense he's been excellent White Hayden White had a great game on Tuesday against Scunny Taylor I've, told, I've said all I want to say about Taylor Rowling I believe he's had a decent game today Ward He's a solid left back. Not got a problem with him. He's definitely a man of quality. Kinsella and Perry. CDM roles. Should be more than capable of dealing with that. And they are good quality. And Labadee got an injury, I think. But that's that's solid. I'm liking that. Keenan, Brendan Keenan. He's a good quality winger for League 2 level. But when he beats his man and gets the cross in, there's nobody there. There's nobody there. Wilkinson might get his head on a ball, but he's not going to be heading it in. I think he had one chance early on today. And uh, it's powder puff headers. He's not an aerial target man who can put his head on a ball and head a ball home. The likes of Andy Rammel. Um, Andy Cook again. That kind of... Uh, that kind of striker, every team in League 2 has a target man. And that is generally the guy who can head goals in from corners, from set pieces. We're having lots of set pieces. We're having lots of corners. We've got nobody that's causing any threat at them. So that is a big concern. Looking through the rest of the team, Jack Earing, he played again today. Um, in for, well, keeping his place ahead of Osa DB, who 
took virtually the whole of last season to get going. And again, Jack Earing is a young player, needs time, perhaps. Uh, Phillips playing out wide, just demonstrating that he's not big enough and well, he's not strong enough to lead the line, which you wouldn't expect that of a 21 year old player. Wilkinson, he may be good as a number 10, but better still, he's better as a right winger. And he's playing centre forward. So we got we've put a lot of money into a squad, but we've not got people in the right positions. We've not got people in the right positions. Wilkinson is not a centre forward. Phillips needs to play with another guy up front with him. He's not a target man. So you ask yourself the question who's to blame? Jamie Fullerton is the hero bringing all these players in. <sighs> Matt Taylor, the style of football is all to do with him. This passing about from the back, it looks nice and pretty, but it's got no end result. It's got no end result. When we pass the ball about, create an opening, we're playing the ball forward for who? There's no target man. There's no player to push it up forward to. We tried to get Tishy Manga in. He's not a target man either. We've gone for the wrong players. We need that big guy up front who can hold the ball up and bring the likes of Earing, Keenan, Phillips into the game and Wilkinson. But without that player, there's no focal point. And playing out from the back, people get the hang of that very, very quickly. And they just tighten up. It's very predictable what's happening. The ball goes out to Taylor. He plays it to White. White gets closed down. He plays it back into Taylor. He knocks it across to Rowling. And then the ball's launched. But launched to who? We've got nobody up front that's going to get that. You need pace up front. And you need a big target man. And we haven't got either. So, it's going to be a long, hard season. Warsaw have got 10 days to sort that out. Or it's going to be a very painful season. <sighs> Talk about the joy and the pain. We had enough pain last season. It's supposed to be the joy season this season. Please, give me some positive comments. Because I'm, I'm very worried. I'm very worried. I could see <laughs> Matt Taylor. I could see Matt Taylor walking out and admitting defeat. Even at this stage, he's got a big smile on his face and he looks composed. But the cracks are already very wide, and. Can he sort them out? After the poor performance against Forest Green, he changed the team round and we had a positive response against Scunny. Yes, we should have won. But there's big problems and it's not just the centre forward. Are we trying to play football like Merson tried to do when he, uh, he was manager? Trying to play Premiership football with League Two players. And we know how that ended up. Thanks for watching. We've got a game. To, we've got one week to try and sort it out. Stevenage on Saturday. And then Mansfield coming up. Scunny and Hartlepool were two of the easy games. What's it going to be like when we're up against the, uh, the battering ram of Andy Cook? I'm fearful. I'm fearful. Thanks for watching.